Hey, hey, everybody! You found the tunist. Uh, how's it going? How was your How was your 2020? Was, was it a Was it a good year for you? No. Yeah, me neither. Who, who are we kidding? It was an awful year for pretty much everybody. Uh, how about 2021 though, huh? How's your 2021 been so far? Uh, it's also bad. No, oh, go oh, God, no, oh, oh, that that sucks. I feel like every time I make a new major updates and announcement video, it's after I made a major update and announcement video talking about how I'm gonna make a whole different content or new content that I'm really excited about. I make one episode of it. And then I just never do anything with it again. <laughs> and who am I to break tradition this time around? I'm, I'm doing something relatively similar again, but this time it's different. It's a completely different format of content, and I'm dead serious about it this time, and I'm dead serious about being consistent with it. Uh, not only because it's a very personal thing to me, but it also it's also because it involves somebody else. But before we get into that, I just thought I really should probably update you guys on some stuff since... It's been a long time since I've made one of these videos, and I know none of you guys follow me on my Twitter, which, if you did, I'd have so much internet clout and brownie points, oh my god, like, if I literally, if all you guys just followed me on my Twitter, but, eh, beggars can't be choosers, I suppose, so, uh, first and foremost, I uh, built a new gaming PC, it's got a 3070 in it, well, it's 32 gigs of RAM, I've been playing Cold War with it, I've been having a blast, it's, uh, I love this thing. It was a little tedious because I had a graphics card. I bought a crappier graphics card beforehand. It was a new one still, but it couldn't download the drivers and it crapped out on me. So I had to send it back for a refund. And you know how all those things are, how those things can go. But I have a better card now, which cost me less money. So I wound up saving money on top of it. So good on that front. Shoutouts to the initial K for helping me pretty much build this entire PC, which you did most of the work for that. So shoutouts to you, buddy. I really, I really appreciate that. It was a really fun day getting to see you again as well. I got to do the Nintendo Brand Ambassador program again, which was awesome. I got to be a Nintendo rep again for the holiday season while pretty much in the middle of everybody hating Nintendo. That was cool. <laughs> I only got to do the program for like a month and a half anyway, since it got like indirectly shut down because of COVID. You know, they didn't want us going to stores anymore because the virus was getting a lot worse after Thanksgiving and whatnot. And I really don't even blame them at that point. And it, it sucked not getting to do that job for as long as I did last year, but I got to make a lot of friends on the program. I had a lot of fun with it, like I always do. It kept me busy, and your boy still got paid, so I still made bank. So that's what really matters to me the most on top of that, as well as just having a lot of fun with the job in general. Uh, I still have my other job, which is great. And I guess above all else, uh, if you guys, you, again, you guys would know this if you follow me on the Twitter, but it's also my fault for not making an update video here, like pretty much announcing all this stuff to you guys until now. But I am officially sponsored by the Rise Nitro Brewing Company. They are a brewing company based out of New York that makes organic nitrogenated cold brew coffee as well as oat milk beverages as well. It's bomb. Guys, I mean, if I've been simping for this company since before I even worked for them, since before they even sponsored me as well. I was literally already shilling for them harder than, you know, somebody shills for something else that they love that is clever as a joke that I can't think of right now. But point is, I love these guys so much. They've, they took me out of a very dark spot in my life, as well as their stuff is just delicious. I have it literally every single morning. And you can too, if you use the discount link below and use discount code Nintunas to check out to not only get 10% off, but to also be helping me directly in terms of supporting me and my endeavors. So if you want to do that, feel free to go ahead and get yourself a discount on some amazing coffee that comes in a bunch of flavors, or oat milk if that's your thing, which comes in original vanilla chocolate, blah 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 blah, shilling shilling shilling, all that good stuff. Rise cold brew. Now, to get into the meat and potatoes of this video, which is YouTube again, like I seem to talk about so much on this platform, rather than just talk about other stuff while using the platform, I'll just say this. The reason I've been gone from YouTube for so long is... because I don't like it. <laughs> it's, the, it's, it's that simple, really. It's because I don't like it. I just haven't been motivated or had any real desire to make videos anymore. I definitely don't want to make the stuff I used to make. You guys know that. And if you watched uh, this update or vlog video, this long 45 minute like podcast like video that I made talking about a lot of stuff like the Smash community as well as, you know, my commentary, you know, career and whatnot, all that stuff. I also mentioned, I talked about YouTube a lot and how that works, you know, like how you really need to make like breakout videos on YouTube, like short videos to really like hook people into your channel before they start watching the longer ones. And if you noticed, in my last three or so videos, 
they're kind of long. They're, they're kind of long videos, I'm not gonna lie. I, Yeah, you know, I put a lot of effort and banking into Smash Excellence. I hired, you know, a logo designer to make the intro of it for me and whatnot. I was really serious about trying to use it to not only bring more people into my channel, like a bigger or different demographic, but to also just make something different and something that's me, you know, to put really my own spin on Smash content as just as opposed to like a lot of the no offense, I think a lot of other Smash content is kind of generic, but hey, they're successful and I'm not, so I'm definitely not going to be judging them. Shoutouts to all the Smash content creators, you guys are goats. But I just wanted to make something different, you know, I just wanted to make something that's me, so I did, and that video still didn't even get out of the triple digits. Which for my standards, I'm sorry, but my standards are a little higher than that at this point, and... I did mention in that update video that I made a few months ago that if this particular series did not go well, one that I was putting a lot of energy into, that I was banking a lot on and whatnot for, you know, the future of my YouTube career, quote-unquote, if you would, that if it didn't do well, I wasn't going to continue it, and I wasn't really going to continue YouTube. And I was serious. I don't know what else to say, but besides I was serious, that video still very much underperformed. I didn't like how it did, as, you know, as fun as it was to make, wasn't fun enough to really warrant me doing it if I feel like nobody's watching. Like, I'm sure a lot of you were, like, nerdy kids growing up. You know, when you were a teenager, you felt like your parents weren't listening to you sometimes. It's like, it's like trying to be yourself and just no one will listen. It's like there's, you know, if you know what it feels like to just talk and talk and just no one's really listening or it feels like no one's listening, that's how it feels as a content creator sometimes, especially one at my level, if you would. It's just, it feels like there's no point in talking if there's nobody listening. And I don't want to put that much effort into something that people don't really care about, you know? And you got to really love con the content you're making if you want to do that. And maybe I'll make Smash Excellence again one day if I have the time to do it, but I really would not count on it if I'm being completely honest. I It just doesn't seem like a worthwhile endeavor anymore, so... Blah, 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 you know, YouTube, YouTube, sad boy, whatever, all that good stuff. I don't take YouTube as seriously as I used to. It's been on the back burner for me for so long now. Like, you guys know, like, for all of you who really know me, I am, first and foremost, I am a Smash Brothers commentator. That's what my main gig is. I've grown to become one of the most well-known ones in the tri-state area, and this year alone, I've had a lot more success with it than I have, I've had in the last five, at least monetarily-wise. Like, Smash Bros. commentary is not where the money's at. It's not why you should do it, believe me. If that's what you're doing it for, you're doing it for the wrong reasons. But I have been paid more times this year alone, or 2020 alone, to commentate than I have combined in the last five years. And it's because I get to do it from the comfort of my at-home studio, and therefore, because of, because of quarantine and the way tournaments are now, you know, like, all these other tournament organizers from other regions know me now, and I never even had to travel there or nothing like that, so I've been getting to do a lot more tournaments from, you know, that are based around other regions and whatnot. It's really consolidated that, and it's part of the reason that for a little while I didn't even want offline Smash events to return, but I definitely want them to return for the sake of other people, as well as for myself, if I'm being, if I'm being, you know honest with the true core of me, but point is, I do Smash Brothers commentary a lot much more than Smash Brothers content. I'm much more of a Smash Brothers commentator than a Smash Brothers content creator. So, what's next? What does that mean for this channel? Like, what does that mean for where I'm going? Am I just done? Am I just not doing anything else? Is that it for Old Tunist? Well, not exactly. If I had a white guy that had a bigger dick than me, I, I probably would hate him. <laughs> <laughs> like, I probably hate him. I'm just saying, like, okay, like, it's not called the WBC, it's called BBC, okay? No one is looking up WBC on Pornhub. They look yeah. BBC on Pornhub. Yeah. It's like women going to like a Smash tournament to get dick. It just doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs>
Presenting the Double D Experience, a brand new comedy banter podcast hosted by me. And not just me, as a matter of fact. It's a podcast that I'm going on an endeavor with my good buddy, Dennis. And for you OG Nintunas fans, if you remember Dennis, he's he's this guy. Suck him up, suck him up, suck him up, dick, dick, suck him up, suck him up, dick, yeah. Suck my, suck my, suck my dick, dick, suck my, suck my dick, suck my dick. Yeah, Dennis is the guy that I did my Paper Mario Let's Play with back in the day, as well as that really crappy Sonic Adventure Let's Play I did back then, too. He's as serious about it as I am. We're both very serious about this endeavor, despite the nature of the podcast. We are both very serious about doing it and trying to make it legit and just, you know... Have it just doing it and like having fun with it and we hope you guys will enjoy it as much as we've really enjoyed making it. If not, that's cool too, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. To address one major thing here, I'm sure a lot of you are thinking, Nintunist, why the switch? Why are you switching from making these YouTube videos to a podcast? Like what what's what inspired you to do that? Like why are you abandoning your old content to do that? And I'm gonna be honest, the reason for it is because it's a lot more be fitting to me. If you want me to tell you guys some truth about YouTube, shorter videos on YouTube typically are better. People's attention spans are shorter than they've ever been, and a lot of kids use YouTube and stuff, and a lot of, you know, the bigger YouTubers like to pander to kids and whatnot. It's no different than what, like, you know, the cartoon and video game companies do and whatnot. They want to sell stuff to kids, even though that's illegal to do with COPPA nowadays, so it's... The, the, the whole sphere of YouTube is a lot different, but regardless, like, people's attention spans are shorter than they've ever been. They'd rather get their instant gratification and then leave quicker rather than later. It's just the way things are now. The internet has changed the world for that. It's just the way it is. And if you've noticed by the last three videos that I've made. Y you probably know I'm a little more of a long-winded person. I could have made this video like four minutes probably, but I don't want to do that. It's just not who I am. Like, I feel like I don't express myself fully unless I have more time to do it, unless I'm able to really like reach all points across and explain myself thoroughly and whatnot. And I just, you can't do that on YouTube in only like five or three minutes. You just can't, you know, like, you need breakout videos to sort of, like, introduce yourself and then people will watch your longer content, but for me, you know, that's never really worked out. I don't understand YouTube. I don't get it. I don't get the algorithm or anything like that. I don't know what the kind of content I should make in order to get people to watch me, or if I do, I don't really want to make that kind of content. And I'm a very long-winded person. So all those elements combined just creates, it just presents YouTube as a platform that's just not for a guy like me. You know, I'm a very long-winded person. I like to make longer content and whatnot. I like to explain myself thoroughly. I don't want to make, you know, the standard shill content, same video every day, whatnot, same low effort crap or whatever. It's, it's just, the more I do YouTube, the more and more I realize it's not for me. I was so motivated to make Smash Excellence. I put so much effort into that and no one cared. I just, no one cared. It's like, I was really banking on it a lot, and it just very much underperformed to my standards, which I was kind of upset about, and it just demotivates me to make it more. I might make it more in the future if I have time, but th that's doubtful, if I'm being completely honest. So, that is why I'm switching to podcasting. Podcasting is, it's a longer format. It's an auditory format completely, so you get to just talk and talk about stuff that you want, talk about various subjects, laugh about various subjects, talk about serious things like politics, and then laugh about silly things like dicks or whatever. It's like, it, you get, I, it's just a platform that I'll truly get to be me. Despite all the other things that w I've done with YouTube, I feel like I've been trying to fit into this mold of like a Nintendo or a Smash Brothers YouTuber, and I'm just not being myself. And it's not even like I'm not being myself, but like, oh, you know, I'm getting a lot of subscribers, like I'm getting a lot of ad revenue, like I'm being, a lot of people are seeing me and my content is growing and my personality and my brand is growing. It's a good thing. It's not even that. It's not even like I sold my soul to YouTube and I just was, I reaped, I reaped the benefits of it. I'm not even doing that. I'm not even reaping the benefits of it. So if you're making content that you don't want to make, if nobody's really watching it or caring about it, it's like, what is the point? There's nobody's happy in that scenario, and I'm just wasting my time. There's just other stuff I'd rather be doing, playing with friends, working out, you know, like, working on my own personal growth. It's like, it's not, it's just not for me. You know, I've tried to make it for me, and it's just 
not. I don't really care to be in front of the camera. I don't mind it. I'm a Smash Brothers commentator. I've been in, in front of cameras in front of thousands of people. I don't really care about that, but like, it, it's just not something I care to put effort into, you know? With a podcast, and especially with this podcast, I get to be me. I get to be long-winded. I get to talk about things that I want to talk about that's not just video games, even though I will be talking about video games and Smash Brothers and stuff on the podcast. So if you're interested in that, feel free to check it out. It's just... It's going to be such a much more rewarding platform for me on pretty much all fronts. And Dennis is just as excited about it. He even made a list of topics that he wanted to talk about. We've been talking about the format a lot. He's just as serious about it as I am, which makes me so, so happy. We're really trying to make it legit, and we hope you guys will check it out too. If not, if you prefer my older content, I totally get that, but I'm going to be real with you. D don't get your hopes up on me returning to that kind of stuff. I don't want to make top 10 videos. I don't want to make you know, just shill, you know, elite smash, you know, like pub stamping videos where I don't make any clever jokes and I just talk about nothing the entire time, yet it gets like a ton of views for some reason. I don't get it. I don't understand YouTube and I'm done trying to understand it. I'd rather just be me. And that's a big thing that the podcast is about. It's not just about a pod. It's not just about like a format of content where I can be more befitting to myself as a long winded and that is a long winded person. It's also just a big personal thing for me, like, after the year that I've had, you know, in 2020, it's, like, a big personal step for me where I don't have to, like, be limited to the confines of YouTube or pandering to a certain type of people or, you know, whether it's in the gaming community or whether it's, you know, my family or whatever, which, God bless them, they've helped me get through the first half of 2020, which was this cesspool of depression for me for a couple of reasons. I'm not gonna get into that here. I'll probably get into that on the podcast at some point, but definitely not here. I've already made this video long enough as it is. You see, I'm just talking about stuff that's completely irrelevant again, and just going off and off and on. And with Dennis, we're going to be laughing and talking about that on the podcast. It's just a better format for it. People do not like longer YouTube videos when you are a smaller channel. It just doesn't work. And so, in an effort to find something a lot more fulfilling for me, I present to you guys the Double D Experience. It will be a new episode every single Friday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, a comedy, banter, variety podcast where me and Dennis will talk about everything and anything under the sun. We'll be laughing, we'll be crying, we'll be talking about serious stuff every now and again, mostly laughing. We definitely, we definitely strive to make this podcast a very spontaneous and fun experience full of laughter. That's what we're about, and we hope we can make your lives a little bit more full of laughter too after these dark, dark times that we've all been trudging through. So, TLDR for this video, I am slowly shifting away from YouTube and moving to podcasting. The podcast, the Double D Experience, will be on this channel, but it would also be wherever you get your podcast, whether it's Spotify or Pocket Cast, Apple Podcasts, which, you know, is not on Apple Podcasts yet. It takes like two weeks for Apple Podcasts to approve podcasts and whatnot, but all the links will be down in the description below, like whatever format you choose to listen to your podcast for, it will be there. And if you prefer to listen to it here, you can go ahead and just subscribe to me if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so you can be notified as soon as I post a new video. And to those of you who like my older content, I might make something, you know, if I have the time, if, like, it'll be something I can really, you know, find a good balance with if people prefer my older stuff, but it doesn't seem like many people like my older stuff anyway, you know, like, when you've been doing YouTube for as long as I have, and your videos still don't regu even really get out of the triple digits, it just feels like there isn't a point. Maybe I'm going about it wrong, maybe I need to be more patient, I don't know. I, I never understood YouTube or the algorithms and whatnot. Just want something where I can be me, but if I'm being real, don't count on me making that old stuff because it's, it's, it's likely not going to happen. You know, unless one day YouTube changes and, you know, copyright law isn't stupid anymore. Like, for those of you who used to watch my Twitch streams, that is a big reason why I don't stream on Twitch anymore, besides the fact that I don't really enjoy it and kind of stopped enjoying it around the beginning of this year anyway. Copyright law on the internet is just so fucked right now, and I don't want to put all this time and energy into, like, a video that I'm really passionate about and really have, like, the creative drive to use, like, one particular song for, like, oh, this song fits perfectly, and then I find some garbage where, like, I can't use it because, like, some guy who doesn't even own it, like, there are, like, three notes in it that sound, like, similar to his song or whatever, so he copyright strikes it, and then YouTube sides with that guy. It's just, it's fucked right now, and frankly, I don't want to be... Uh, I don't want to be on the platform where something like that's going to happen. I mean, I'll still be posting my podcast to YouTube, but it's just... The whole environment is just so different, and more than anything else, you know, like, 
it doesn't matter how much time, effort, and love I put into a video. Like, if people aren't gonna watch it and I don't enjoy making it that much, there just isn't much of a point. So, who knows? You know, I could go back to making some of my old stuff if people really like it that much and then they start watching it, then things will change, but I'll just be real, you know, the fact that YouTube for me is just, it feels like I've hit a dead end with it. You know, I told myself years ago that I was gonna stop, but I didn't, and I was just got inconsistent with it. So, out of, obviously I'm just doing something wrong when it comes to YouTube that I'm not in the place I want to be with it, so maybe I'm giving up too soon, maybe I'm just not doing it right, maybe I just don't understand it, but either way... I need something else, and that's why I'm doing this. That's why I'm doing the podcast. That being said, if you want to support me in my new endeavors anyway, I would appreciate that so much. Me and Dennis really want to try and get this thing off the ground, and if you want to help and further support me, there'll be a new Twitter for it down in the description below as well, as well as a link to my normal Twitter as well. I'm really trying to get it up to a thousand followers. That would really help me out a lot if you guys would be able to assist me a little bit in doing that. I've been hovering at 700 for, like, so long at this point. Like, months and months on end. If you guys could gas me up to 1,000, that would be very much appreciated. If not, I understand everything is pretty much your prerogative, but pretty much, if you guys want to continue supporting me, check out the new podcast. And more than anything else, this is a podcast where you're really going to get to know the real Nintunist on pretty much all fronts besides just video games. So if that's something you're interested in, by all means, subscribe to it right here on the channel or right there down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And your support means the world to me. I hope we all prosper in 2021. I hope you get the nerves and I hope you get the courage to ask your crush out. I hope you finally get that new promotion. I hope we all get to hug and kiss each other again once the world opens up. But until now, we gotta be patient and just continue to muster through these times a little bit longer. Stay strong, friends. I know things have been hard. Let me and Dennis make things a little less hard for you. Or more hard, if if that's what you'd prefer. If, 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 that's, if that's the kind of stuff that you're into. That's the Double D experience. I love you guys, and I will see you all very soon. Take care of yourselves.